Today we're gonna to be going over 10 powerful fragrance clones that are even stronger than the original. And so with these, not only do they perform better or, or really give the real deals a run for their money, uh, but they're also, in a lot of instances here, significantly more affordable. So you have money savings and you're also getting a product that does deliver better in the performance category. That's one of the big benefits of clones too. Maybe you have the original, maybe money is not an issue for you. You don't have to worry about your budget. But there are some fragrances out there that smell amazing, they're really, really good, but they don't have the best performance. And for a lot of people that is a deal breaker, sometimes you can turn to clones to solve that problem. We're gonna be going over these today. I'll link them down below so you can grab them at prices below retail. Not that clones usually have a retail price anyway. You get them from discounters 99.9% .9 of the time anyway at a decent price. So you'll find them down below. And if you're on the hunt for anything rare, discontinued, or hard to find, I wanna point you in the direction of my mailing list and my texting list. Um, things like Mancera Sadrap Boise 120 ml bottles for 58 bucks right? Dior own parfum coming into stock. Finally, all of these things you're missing out on if you aren't on those lists. So you'll find those down below. Now let's get things kicked off with Rue Broca Pride Intense Version. So very important to make sure you know what you're buying here if you're trying to get what I'm about to describe. There's the original and the intense. They smell completely different. Go for the intense version if you want a stronger performing version of Paco Rabanne Pure XS. So Pure XS itself is not an expensive scent. It's like $48, $50 on discounters. You can get the testers. It still comes with the cap for uh, the lower price and then full presentation for a few bucks more. Uh, but it's affordable. It's obtainable right there in that mid-range designer pricing. No problem. But the performance on that one leaves a bit to be desired. It's not awful. It's not terrible. But it could be better. And again, at that price point, there's only so much you can really realistically ask for. However, you can go for this one here, Pride Intense. I think this is every bit of 20 to maybe even a little bit less than 20. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but right around the $20 mark, and it does perform better than Pure XS, but you still get that DNA, that sugary, sweet, kind of cola, fizzy, bubbly smell from the sugar. There's some caramel in there as well, some tonka bean, this kind of cola note or accord going on. Uh, some fur resin, fur balsam, a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's a very unique scent DNA. I really like it a lot. I love Pure Excess, but if you want something that's a little bit cheaper and longer lasting, check this one out. You're not gonna hear about this one all that often. It's a nice little pickup for you. Now this next one you've probably heard of because it's starting to circulate a little bit. The hype train is, is maybe starting on this a little bit. I, I think just in general, Fragrances that clone this particular DNA always tend to get very popular for some reason. Fragrance World Suits. So this is a clone, of course, of YSL Tuxedo. You know, we also have Rocus Mustache Eau de Parfum, which is more or less inspired by with its own twist. You have Afnan Tarathi Brown, which is more so in the clone direction. And also most recently, most notably, you've seen Alhambra the Tux. That's one that popped up out of nowhere, discounters got it in, and it was, uh, I don't know, $30 or so, somewhere around in there, maybe a little bit more, and it sold out, and then it's almost never been seen again. It popped up one other time recently within the past few weeks. I did send out an email on it. It sold out very quick, and it's gone again. I don't know what's gonna go on with that one, if it's going to be on and off, hard to get forever, or if it's getting discontinued, I don't know but I do know that Fragrance World has their own interpretation and similar to the Tux, they're going after the bottle as well. So one of the things I've talked about a lot when it comes to clones, something that I think a lot of people dislike is that these clone brands often use a bottle presentation that's a little bit bizarre. It doesn't fit in with the rest of your collection. It kind of stands out like a sore thumb. Maybe you're not as proud to display it, but this looks very similar to YSL Tuxedo and it also smells very similar to it as well. YSL Tuxedo is a great scent. It's actually one of my favorites. I love that stuff. I've talked about a lot of these clones often, and with fall around the corner, this is the time to wear this DNA. It's a beautiful scent, focusing heavy on patchouli, ambergris, spices, of course. 
It smells amazing, very unique, very distinct DNA. But with the real deal, it's 250 plus dollars at retail and that's really your only option. And also, it performs okay, but these clones, they really, really hold their own. And even if they equal out to the performance of the real one, the cost savings here makes it worth it 10 times over. Armoff Club Dinoui Sillage, or Sillage. And this, of course, is a clone of Creed Silver Mountain Water. This one, along with Milestone, are pretty popular. They've been out for some time now. And Armoff, they seem to not put out the same volume of releases as a lot of these other clone brands. So when an Armoff, a new Armoff scent is coming out, it kind of gets hyped up a bit more because, again, it doesn't happen often or all the time. And it kind of feels like it does with some of these other guys out there. And so at the time when this was coming out, it was a big deal. People were wanting to know what it was going to be about, and it is Silver Mountain Water. It's a really good clone, and for what it's worth, Creed Silver Mountain Water, to me, is one of the better releases from them, at least in terms of their fresher, more summer version ones. It's very unique. It does stand out. But the Creed is expensive, and it doesn't perform the best. That's where Sea Ouch comes in. It's an Eau de Parfum. It's a $30, 35 maybe $40 scent significantly more affordable and a great performer as well. Next up, we have Rasasi La Yukawam. Now, this has also been out for a very long time. It kind of went through its little hype phase. It got very popular there for a bit. The reason why is because it's similar to Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Tuscan Leather, of course, being a private blend, is on the more expensive side. I don't even know what it retails for, and to be honest with you, I can't even remember what it's going for at discounters. But you've got 50 mil, you've got 100 mil, you can get the big 250 mil flacons or flacones, whatever you wanna call it. And I think there might be available in a 30 ml. I know some private blends are, maybe not all of them. There's a lot of options for you, but they all are very expensive. And so you can get this for, I think it's up a little over $50 a little bit. It's actually uh, one of the more expensive clones in this video. So it's not a cheapie, it's a little bit more. But when you compare that to the price of Tuscan leather, there is still a big discrepancy there. And maybe this is not stronger than Tuscan leather, maybe not. But it's such a good contender for this video that I wanted to toss it in anyway and maybe just write in a disclaimer and say really gives it a run for its money. I think this can hang with Tuscan leather easily and that's saying something because that scent is a beast mode powerhouse but also so is this one. Afnan Tarathi Blue. So we mentioned Tarathi Brown earlier there in passing. The Rokas Mustache EDP not clone. No, I'm sorry. Similar to Mustache Eau de Parfum, but the Tuxedo clone. Again, these variations and clones and smelling similar to type of deals, it gets confusing. So that, that's a separate entity. Tarathi Blue is a Bulgari Tiger clone. So again, with these clone brands, it can be a bit confusing. You see the bottle looking similar, you see the name looking similar, less a different word or color in this instance. And so maybe you think, oh, they're similar but tweaked. No, nope. you know, same with the Armoff Club de Nuits, they're all completely different. And so again, Bulgari Tiger, it's pretty far from uh, Tuxedo. This is focusing heavily on the bergamot, the citruses, a lot of amber, patchouli, and musk, and some cedar wood. It's a very classy citrus scent, one of the more premium and kind of upscale citrus scents for men that I've smelled. It's a very unique take, and that's because it does lean heavily on those notes I mentioned there towards the end, the patchouli, the amber, or the woods. It's a very unique it's a very unique combination of notes. And Bulgari Tiger itself is another expensive one. It's kind of in their more premium line, similar to what Tuxedo is to YSL. The Bulgari Lay Gym line, I think is what it is. They're more expensive. It also doesn't maybe deliver the best in performance, at least what you're getting in return for the price. But this one coming in at about $40 does a fantastic job in that category and it gets you very close to that DNA. Last up, we have Armoff Club de Nuit Iconic. So again, with these Club de Nuit scents, uh, this is kind of a hybrid between Blue de Chanel and Elysium. And so as a whole, and this has been going on for years, Blue de Chanel has never really performed all that good. Yes, maybe they're not awful performers, but at that retail price, which is usually your only option, it does leave a bit to be desired for a lot of people. And you can also argue that 
that type of scent DNA doesn't need to be beast mode. And I would agree. I don't think it is necessary. But when you are paying that money, sometimes maybe you want a bit more. With Armoff Club de Nuit Iconic, you have that blue Chanel DNA with a little bit of that vetiver component similar to that in Elysium going on in here, which kind of uh, is a little bit of a hybrid, kind of mixing the best of both worlds, and it does have great performance. Also an Eau de Parfum, 105 milliliter, just right there at $50, which is about half the price than Blue de Chanel, and Elysium, you know, that's going for well over 200. You're getting kind of both of those mixed into one. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Some fragrance clones that are stronger than the original. If you're prioritizing performance at a low cost, check these out for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.